Hey, what's up? I don't know what's going on with my face, but um, that won't affect my performance. Today, I'm going to look at a video by Jubilee, and I am quite jubilant to do it. Are men superior to women? Alphas versus betas. I have a feeling in this video, I'm going to hate everyone. Alpha, beta, doesn't matter. I'm going to hate everyone. I have a sneaking suspicion. Every time they speak, I'm going to want to tear my ears off and feed them to my dog. <coughs> 5956 you expect me to watch a video for an hour do you think i am a millennial all right let's just start this shall we men are designed to want to sleep with multiple women i'm only having sex with multiple women so i'm not weird so i'm quote unquote normal i feel like even when i do have sex with these random women it doesn't give me any gratification and i know that comes with like random sex in the in the end but I know in the back of my mind that like, I just like simply don't enjoy this. Like I've been with multiple women. We get it. You've been with heaps of women. Rub it in. Fuck. Derek. I don't know what his name is. I'm just going to call him that. Being with one woman is just so peaceful. As far as like telling young men that they're born this way and that they should feel this way, it can really not do damage, but just sort of make you second guess things about yourself. I don't listen. Let me just end this conversation right now. Do what makes you feel right, within reason. Don't, like, you know, cheat on people and whatever else. Just do what you think is sound, you know? If you like to be with multiple people, do that. And tell, you know, the people that you're with, I'm not just sleeping with you, I'm sleeping with everyone else. Or, if you want to be in a committed relationship, be in a committed relationship. I don't know why we need to have this conversation. It seems a pretty easy, simple thing to just get through. Do what seems right to you. Am I a modern day philosopher? Yes. I am. I'm so smart. These people are stupid. I don't like being with multiple women. I love being with multiple women. Wow. Woo, yeah, conversation over. Anyway, I'm going to move on to the next chapter because I'm bored already. This guy is either falling asleep or maybe I'm falling asleep. I don't know, but he's, he's boring me. Submissive women are more attractive than dominating women. I like women who throw me into walls and throw me into cupboards and throw me into bars. I like women who throw me around. Hell yeah. Why is it always, can we get both of them in at the same time? I don't want to hear one or the other. I want to hear them both at the same time, talking over each other. That's how conversations should happen. Everyone talking over each other, no one gets each other's points. That's what I'm here for. It's true, man. <laughs> it's true. It, look, I, I I think one of the most beautiful things about love is being able to fully take care of a woman in every way, whether that's emotionally, protecting, providing, everything about that. Like every fairy tale that was ever written for all of time was about a man saving a woman from a castle and a dragon, right? Or some sort of scenario <laughs> like that. Oh, I think sorry. that's absolutely. Am I saying that somebody that doesn't do that is not a man? No, I would never. But ideally, the relationships that are going to work, the relationships in, let's say, the 30s, 40s, 50s, or, or whenever, you know, we're... We were having nuclear family stay together. The nuclear family made of entirely radiation. I, um, submissive or dominating, I don't know. Preference, really. It's a preference thing. Me personally, I like the women that live in the trees. Like Tarzan, but a woman. You know what I mean? Okay, what do the betas have to say? So, my parents, you know, their my parents, parents are fucking dead. Really? If women are submissive, it's mostly for, I... I want to say like the validation for the man. I think they know in the back of their heads, like they know now that they can do things on their own. But I don't think they necessarily need a man, but I think what they're looking for is that intimacy to have a partner, but I don't think that they require one. Oh no, they do. Cause uh, you know, a, a lot of these girls, they usually go home and cry at night from being lonely, from not having a man. They have all these things and then they don't, they're, they're upset. Look at these women. <laughs> Just go home, start fucking, they just break down. I think it's more than they need a partner. I think they need a fucking... <laughs> they need a, a specialist, a medical specialist. Why am I crying so much when I get home? I feel like with, you know, if we're saying that women, you know, they're like going home, crying, looking for men. I think it's also that societal pressure that tells you at the same time you have to have multiple women. They're telling the women you have to have that one man, that husband, by a certain age, have kids by a certain age. There's more pressure on them than there is men. How dare you? I fought in Vietnam, World War II, World War I, uh, the future war for America. I fought in 
uh, Russia. Okay, I fought for this country in Call of Duty. You understand? I have not gotten off scot-free, okay? So I'd like some respect. And I also would like to ask, if you guys find submissive women more attractive than dominant women, is that because it makes you feel more validated as a man? Or is there something there that you feel like feeds into your purpose as a man? Yeah, well, it's a balance. If, I, if I'm a dominant person, I need a submissive. If, if I meet a dominant woman, we're gonna butt heads. He's saying you gotta find the right fit for you. This video is fucking useless. That's what I said at the start of the video. I literally said, yeah, I think just finding the right fit for you is how you should go about it. And he just said that, what, 20 minutes in? What more do we need to discuss? I don't, this video is fucking pointless. Jubilee sucks. What is this? Okay, I'm the only one offering insight here. Okay, it shouldn't be me. I should be the one who has no idea what I'm talking about. But yet, I'm the smartest one in the room. I am by myself in this room currently, but if I was in that room, I'd be killing it. I am great at sex. Ugh. With my partner, my, my wife, I'm able to not only connect phys physically, but also emotionally. You know, as, and then I think that's the biggest trick I've learned. Not trick, but the thing I've learned about my years. Of the best magic trick I've ever performed was the one where I pulled the dub out of the hat. Wait, that wasn't the question? Tell them I've been talking about for the last 28 minutes. I, I would say, uh, you know, I think the, the fact that we have a woman who keeps coming back or who keeps wanting it, I think that, you know, that's a sign that she thinks you're great at sex. You know what I mean? Because she, she actively wants to keep it going and keep it, keep it you know, keep it uh, going in that, in that direction. I, w I will say, though, I'm better at sex with women I care about. And eventually, you know, yeah, your, you, know your, you know your partner's like comfortability, what they like, what they don't like, and things, and that's how you make sex a lot better instead of like sleeping with right. a thousand percent. Plus, you love them, right? Like, so you knew if you were gonna die today and you could have sex with one person before you die, it would be that person. Wow, see that? People coming together, not, not like that. Alphas and betas talking to each other like human beings about the sexual prowess of each individual on that panel. That, ladies and gentlemen, is society at its best. Women should not be in position of power. The new okay, ad, I was excited. I was rubbing my hands together like a rat and now I got the lotto ad. Hey, I'm back. It's been almost a week since I recorded uh, the first I don't know, 50 minutes of this video. Well. It'd be condensed down. I'm not going to put you through a 50 minute video. What am I insane? Anyway, I'm back. I'm refreshed. Uh, I had stuff to do and then I just kind of forgot about this video. So I'm back now. Don't cry. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Don't cry, you stupid dickhead. These aren't glasses. These are actually sunglasses. But they look like they could be like prescription wear. They're not. Why am I wearing them? I can. Does it make me look smarter? Do you take my perception more into account now? I honestly think that with these on, it adds about 10 IQ points. So, I'm pretty happy. What are they talking about here? Oh, should women have the right to vote? That's an interesting topic that I couldn't get behind. I, I'm, I think I'll have to sit on the fence for that one. <laughs> women should not be in position of power. I think women should be able to do whatever they would like. I think women should can do stuff too. I, I love women, I love them. I support them in their endeavor to have power. I don't know what type of power they're talking about, as in like what, like all like world domination are we talking about? That might be a step too far if it's world domination. But if it's like, I wanna be the manager of a local gift store, then I say, go ahead, you should do that. <laughs> there are going to be some people watching this going, I hate this guy. <laughs> I think a woman can be in a position of power only by herself, but not in relation to being in a relationship with a man. Because when, when she's in a relationship with a man, the man has to be the leader. The man has to be the one that's guiding the situation, directing the situation. I think you need a leader or a follower. I think you should just be equal in a relationship. Uh, I heard you say you were from New York. I lived in Manhattan for 30 years as a fashion designer in the heart of Manhattan. She was working as a fashion editor. I held it down with the three kids. I was the one bringing the money home. I was the one doing that. 
after the, after my son, my youngest, went back to school, she went back to work. I always wanted to have my own collection. She was like, you should do that now. So guess what? She had the job. She paid the bills while I was building my company. So I could be strong in our relationship and be a man in our relationship, but I also got to know what it means to have a partner next to me. And that's someone that I have to lead. I like this Derek Fowler. He's a uh, he's good, he's good speaker. I like him. He should speak more. And the, everyone else should stop. A man should not cry in front of his kids. The kids is looking to their father for that strength. And so if they're seeing their dad cry, right, I feel like that creates fear in the situation the kid has with their father. If you're crying in front of your kids, it's the same thing as crying in front of your girl. It, it, it's, it's, a, it's a bad representation of what you're supposed to be in that situation for them. Uh, now I'll tell you when I do cry. Bro, when you see like one of those kids with Down syndrome get put in a high school basketball game, he starts nailing threes and Jim goes crazy. That is a very specific, although heartwarming thing to see. I, I don't I don't cry, but I go right on, brother. I hope one of them go gets really hyper specific about something they cry about. It's like when I see a monkey help another monkey up into a tree. When I see a squirrel come up to a human, get fed some nut. When I see a homeless man playing his guitar and people stand around and start clapping for him every time. It's like happy, I'm like laughing, I'm like, you know, but other than that, man, uh, no, not at all. You know, when I saw that Down Syndrome kid sink that three, everyone went up for him and started yelling his name. Man, I burst into tears. When my wife left with all the kids and I was there, she'd taken all our possessions, even our dog, and I was there standing in an empty room like Will Smith at the end of Fresh Prince. Not a single tear was shed. I have a father who I've never seen cry. So I get that. I was that man. Again, you have to understand my kids and my middle girl, my middle world daughter, who I'm going to talk about, is 26 years old. Now, for some reason, out of all three of my children, that middle girl, from the time she turned 13 to 17, 18, we just butted heads. Butted heads, right? And the relationship wasn't going to where it should be going. And I want to be close to my kids. We sat down, she was about 20, maybe 19, 20 years old. We had a heart to heart about our feelings and how we really felt about each other and I cried. And six years later, some years later, better relationship than we ever had because she saw a human part of me and not just me trying to be what you guys are talking about, which is a good thing too. You can count, my, my wife can count on one hand how many times she's seen me cry. I think my son had and my other daughter have it. But I'm gonna tell you for that enriching moment, and that's again, just coming with years of having those tears with her and talking about how important it was that our relationship work and then hear her come back and saying she felt the same way and breaking through that, I'm the father, I'm gonna be the strong one, made her break down and both of us be closer than we ever have been. Man, Derek's fucking, he's sick. I love Derek, he's great. He's the only one I can, only person's name I can remember, except for, uh, I think Eddie? And Mr. Lucario. I want him, I wish they just did a one-on-one -on -one interview just about him and life's questions that's what i want to see i don't care about these other guys you know i'm sure you know they've had some input whether it be good or bad doesn't matter but i want to hear derek talk for hours i want him to do a sit down interview and him just talk about life that would be that is something i would watch i would watch hours of that days i'd watch days of that anyway um that's it uh for the video i'm to to summarize i think i don't think there was one like there was really like it was alpha versus betas. I don't. I think that's a bit of a dubious uh, claim. I think it was really just a, you know multitude of different people talking. There was only real one like classic alpha bro. And I think that was Mr. Lucario or whatever the dude's name was. Um, but the rest were kind of just like you know they agree with each other sometimes, disagree with each other sometimes. I don't think there was one like classic you know alpha that you'd see in one classic beta that you saw it was just um just a multitude of different opinions and i thought it was pretty respectful actually pretty respectful conversation obviously i'm not going to show the whole video because it's an hour long and i skipped through bits and pieces so i might have missed some stuff but um anyway uh, if you like that uh, don't do anything just click out of the video and do something else so yeah i love chicks 
shifted. Wrong note.